guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Gaming on the Dark Side. I'm Darth Shigong, your host, and today we're going to be going over Monday's event here, The Sounds of Despair. This is a relic one, guys, and for my grinders, it's looking pretty good. So now it's time to talk, guys, to grind or not to grind. So before we get started... Let's talk about the event real quickly. We've got ourselves a brand new relic. Let's take a look at it. We've got ourselves the Bell of Despair here. We'll go into more detail on that in a second. We also got the Cursed Vial, Banner of Void, Shadow Bow, and the one that's not on here, guys, is the um, uh, Ragged Pauldrons um, with a Void Resist for your Horde. All right, guys, so here it is, the Bell of Despair. You can look at it, it gives you 50% Titan and Troop Void damage, 24% all troop health, and 20% horde and skeleton critical. Now, my question when I first looked at this, is it actually useful? Uh, well, you know, on the pro side here, guys, it will help any of your void titans since it offers a boost to all troops, regardless of their element. So you don't have to worry about some of these um, uh, void relics that might boost just grenadiers or boost, you know, ice. But this one here will go for any of them. So that makes it pretty useful in that sense. However, I look at the con here is that all troop health isn't really helpful when it comes to range units. So if you do have a combination of uh, that uses grenadiers or archers or storm maidens, something like that, where they don't need extra health per se, well, then it's kind of a useless slot. Um, and there's way better relics you can equip on your Void Titans. So all in all, is this going to be something you need for the meta? Currently, not really. I mean, it's a, it's a useful relic, but it's not needed. It's not necessary. So if that's what you're looking at in this event and you're like looking at, is it even worth it going for the relic? Eh, maybe. It kind of depends on what you're looking for and if you like rolling with Void Titans. So now let's go over the actual event itself here and look at the milestone rewards. Now, what's pretty cool, guys, is you're going to be getting 4,500 gems from this event, 200 portal stones, five event relics. Um, there's four, or wait, five four-star relics. One of those is a unique relic, the Bell of Despair. This is the first time it's showing up. And, dude, not bad for a 16,000 um, soul event. You're getting 500 Divine Gems. That's actually pretty good, especially for a lot of us now that we're hunting for those Divine Gems. We have some new Divine Titans coming out. So collect those gems, guys. Collect them fast. Now let's calculate the actual value. Um, I did the math. It's about $37.67 for the things that cost stones. But the intangibles... That's always going to be kind of the thing that makes you really think, is this worth it or not? But in this event, guys, yeah, I'm, uh, this is my grinder's thing, dude. It's worth it whether you look at the intangibles or not. But before I go into that, let's check out the other awards you guys can get. Let's check out the Alliance Awards. Oops. <laughs> this is a solo event. Sorry, guys. So you guys will be working this on your own. Now, it's going to be gems and divine gems. Now, like I said... Divine Gems is where it's at. We have new five-star relics coming out, new five-star titans. So now's the time to try to grab those Divine Gems. But if you're just looking to get regular gems, hey, there's no problem with that. And that'll actually be pretty simple because it won't be that hard to get up in those levels. So let's go ahead and take a look at the chosen titans here, guys. They're going to be Void Titans. If you have a four-star Void Titan, you're going to get a 1.2 boost. If you got a three-star Void Titan, it's going to be a 1.1 boost. Um... I mean, everyone hopefully has at least a three-star, but if not, you know, the 1.0, I'll cover that as well later, guys. But a 1.2 boost doesn't sound like a lot, but just wait until I get into the actual math here, and you'll see that's not too shabby for this event. Now, what's really great about this kind of event, guys, is this. All boost relics, all right? You can use all of them, and that means you have any line around from previous events, and if you're a grinder like me, I have all kinds of just sitting around in my inventory, and all this will help you. You can use them to um, uh, get those soul counts quicker, and um, yeah, it's a great way to burn through some of those things. And I'm glad that the devs have made this more of a regular thing, because hey, we get to use those relics. 
So now we get into the meat of the video, guys. We talk about how long, how much, and is this thing worth it? Um, as you can see here with the 1.0 boost, it's gonna take you guys almost 1,500 battles there at 1480. With a 1.1 boost, it's gonna take you a little over 1,300. And with the 1.2, it's only gonna take you a couple over the 1200 mark. So like I said, that 1.2 boost, guys, helps a lot. 200 battles, man, that saves some time. And you can see the gems it's gonna to take to do this. And as always, I always like to show the gem packs really fast, guys. Remember, you know, uh, the more you buy, the more you're gonna save. It helps to support the game. I love this game, so I do purchase gems, guys. Um, that's just the way I roll. And with that in mind, you can see I did the gem cost using the gem packs. I try to pick the ones that work the best and would cost the least and get you closest to what you needed or gave you better value. And once you know that, you can actually look at the value of the event, compare the two and see is this gonna cost or we're gonna get our quote unquote profit and make it worth it. As you can see with a 1.0 boost, guys, it's gonna cost you about $7.30 over what you would get out of the event. Um, the 1.1 boost will be a couple bucks, but the 1.2 guys, we're actually in the money. Uh, this event more than pays for itself. And like I said, for all the, even the intangibles, it makes it worth it. Now, if you look at the 1.0 boost, eh, it's going to be a kind of, Hey man, do I really want this thing? It's not, there's no Titans involved. You're not really getting anything out of it. So for my brand new players, I'd probably say, Hey, it's not really worth it. And all for, um, uh, now if you got the 1.1 boost guys, Hey, I mean, for $2.31, do you really need that cup of coffee? Just go ahead and do the event. But for the 1.2, there's no excuse. It's worth doing. So is it worth it? The 1.2 boost, guys, yes. I mean, it, it pays for itself and then some. You're going to get your divine gems. You know, yes. Now, if you got, like I said, that 1.0, it's really going to be up to you what you want to do with that. I personally would say no. Uh, the, the, the relic isn't game making and it's definitely not going to hurt you not having it, but Hey, those things are always going to be up to you guys. So the final verdict, not grind or grind. Well, I give it a grind, especially with the 1.2s, but a little caveat guys, like I said, for my 1.0s, eh, probably not. Now, hey guys, what's great about events like this when you can use all those boost relics, it's a great way to clear out the inventory um, and just grab what you can. Grab some of those um, uh, relic tokens and just save them. Grab some gems, some portal stones, all that stuff. And like I said, it's just a kind of a great way to kind of burn off a couple things on the Monday and Tuesday of the week. So with that being said, guys, thanks for joining me for another video here. Gaming on the dark side with Darth Shigong. I appreciate you guys taking the time to, you know, come on here and check out the channel and watch the videos. Hey, it's fun for me, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you guys take a second to give me a like. And if you want to watch more stuff as it comes out, hey, hit that subscribe button. Helps the channel out. Helps me pump out more material for you guys. Um, I'm looking forward to some great videos I've got planned here, especially with these new Titans coming out and new Relics. I'm pretty excited for the state of the game. Anyways, guys, I'm Darth Shigong, Gaming on the Dark Side, and I'm out.